Hi, thanks for joining me today. So we are going to focus on mountain pose, Tadasana, in today's video. So this is one of our basic yoga poses. It's the foundation for a lot of our standing poses. So we're going to at first set up our position for proper alignment in mountain pose. And then we're gonna add some additional movements and poses from this foundation to make a little flow today. So you, if you have a yoga mat, perfect. This is one that you do not need to have a mat for. You just need a solid, stable surface to stand on. So this is one that you could do at the barn before you ride if you are an equestrian. So we're gonna start working from the ground up. So we want to have our feet hip distance apart. So when we think of hip distance, it does not mean the outside of the hips. So that would put us a little bit here. What we want to have is the um, leg bones lined up with the points of our hips. So if you take the hands, find the points of your hips, a little bony projection of the pelvis, and then kind of point your fingertips down the legs, you should have a straight line down the center of the thigh bone femur and then a straight line down the center of the lower leg right to the front of the ankle. So that is our foundation hip width apart for mountain pose. And then to give a little bit more awareness to the feet, you can lift all the toes up off the mat, spread the toes, place the toes back down. You wanna think of the outside edge of the feet kind of a little straight it just depends on your alignment mine turn you know i don't have them completely turned that makes me a little knock kneed so you want to think of your knees aiming forward so but you want to have those feet again tracking so we don't want to stand with the feet out like this basically so you want to have the feet parallel with each other so again lift the toes spread the toes place the toes back down so we're finding that nice broad base of support then you can think of lifting the inner arch of the foot and so we find this grounded foundation on the feet and then notice where the weight is in your feet so you should have even weight front to back so think of an even weight in the ball of the toes or the ball of the foot and the toes and the heel slightly bit more weight in the heel. You don't want to lean forward into the toes, so you can give that a little try. You lean forward, you feel like you're going to kind of fall down. Or you also don't want to lean so far back that you feel the toes, you know, kind of lifting and, and not supporting you. So you want that, think like 60-40, 60% of the weight in the heels, 40 in the ball of the foot. And then from that, foundation think of the kneecaps lifting so we're starting to engage the muscles in the legs think of the sternum lifting so we're creating all this energy up the front of the body we have energy up through the crown of the head and then down the back of the body we think of the shoulders relaxing so imagine the shoulder blade just kind of gliding down and in towards the spine think of letting your tailbone lengthen we're not changing any difference in the shape of the pelvis so we're not kind of tucking the pelvis we're thinking of imagine there's a little weight attached to the tip of your tailbone and just thinking of that lengthening down so we think of the energy up the front of the body as we inhale and the energy down the back of the body as we exhale so let the arms rest down by your side you can turn the palms a little forward so that it helps to open up across the collarbones and just find your breath here. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Full inhale, complete exhale. And then see if you can imagine that feeling that I was just talking about, where as you inhale, you think of the breath moving all the way up the front of the body. And as you exhale, think of the breath moving down the back of the body as you exhale. So this is our, keeping that flow going with your breath, this is our basic posture mountain pose. And then again, we're going to add on a few other postures. So if you inhale and float the arms all the way up and overhead, fingertips extending up towards the ceiling or sky. So we keep the same alignment in the rest of the body. 
think of the lowest ribs as we bring the arms up. Sometimes there's a tendency to let the lowest ribs jog a little forward. So you want to think of drawing the lowest ribs towards the hips. So we're still keeping that alignment. Inhale and exhale, and then gently let the arms release down. So we'll do that once again. Inhale, arms floating all the way up and overhead. So this is extended mountain pose or Utita Tadasana. Inhale and exhale. And then gently again let the arms release down by your side. So the next variation or the next thing to add on to this foundation in the feet are mountain pose. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see this so we'll see things a little bit better. So again, we found our mountain pose. And it's really important, again, talking about this from the side, a lot of, you know, we do a lot of tech work, all of us, me included. So there's the tendency for the head to get a little forward. So make sure your head is right on top of your spine. And then inhale again, those arms all the way up to that extended mountain pose. And then as you exhale, you can bring the palms together. And as you bring the hands down to the heart, let the knees bend, and we're gonna fold all the way down to a standing forward bend. So you can let the fingertips release down to the mat. Keep the knees really nice and bent. That gives a lot of uh, release for the hamstrings so we can get a nice stretch in the lower back. Inhale and exhale, and then press into the feet. Inhale, you can float the arms all the way up and overhead as you come back up. And then bring the palms together, bring the hands to the heart, and then gently again let the hands release down by your side. So we've done mountain pose, extended mountain pose, and then standing forward bend, which is Uttanasana, and we fold it all the way down. So let's do that little flow, that little part again. So we're going to inhale, float the arms all the way up, palms together, exhale the hands to the heart, let the knees bend, fold all the way down to that standing forward bend. And then press into the feet, float the arms up at the side, come all the way back up, bring the palms together, the hands to the heart, and then once again, let the arms release down by your side. Inhale and exhale. So we're going to add on to that. So inhale, float the arms again all the way up, bring the palms together, exhale the hands to the heart, bend the knees, fold all the way down to that forward bend. And now this time, inhale and just come halfway up, let the hands rest either on the fronts of the shins or the fronts of the thighs, or you can even reach the fingertips back towards the hips with the arms straight, kind of like a little airplane arm. But we have a little soft bend in the knee, so I'm not locking my knees, a little soft bend in the knee. Lowest ribs, again, drawing towards the hips, so we find that nice length in the spine. So as much support as you need here, you can really press those hands into the thighs, draw the shoulder blades together, gaze down. We're not letting the head drop down. We're lengthening through the crown of the head. And then nice deep inhale. As you exhale, bend the knees again, fold all the way back down, and then press into the feet, float the arms out of the side, come all the way up to that extended mountain pose, palms together, exhale, hands to the heart, and then gently again, let the arms release down by your side. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. So let's go through that flow again a couple more times. So inhale, arms floating all the way up. Extended mountain pose, palms together. Exhale, bending the knees, fold all the way down to that standing forward bend. Inhale, come halfway up. Again, your version for the arms, whatever feels good. Make sure you feel supported, lengthening through the crown of the head. And then exhale, bend the knees again, fold all the way down. Press into the feet, float the arms out of the side, come all the way back up. Bring the palms together, exhale again, the hands to the heart, and then let the arms again release down by your side. So let's do one more flow like that. Inhale, arms floating all the way up, palms together, exhale, bending the knees, fold all the way down to that standing forward bend. Inhale, come halfway up, nice length through the crown of the head. Exhale, bend the knees again, fold all the way down to that forward bend, and then float the arms out to the side as you come all the way back up. Palms together, exhale again, the hands to the heart, and the hands down by your side. Inhale and exhale. Take a few breaths here if it feels comfortable for you. You can close the eyes, just notice how you're feeling. Inhale and exhale. And then 
very gently with the eyes open. So that is our introduction to our mountain pose. And again, a few poses that you can do from that foundation of mountain pose. That's a great little quick flow to do right before you ride. It's gonna first of all, find that nice alignment for you that you would need in the saddle with the upper body. And then with that forward bend, you're getting that nice stretch in the lower back. When you have the arms overhead, we're getting a nice length in the sides of the body. And then when we have, we come halfway up, we're engaging our core muscles a little bit to support us. So it gives us a little bit of movement with the breath, which is important when you're in the saddle to make sure you're breathing as you are moving with your horse. And then finding that little bit of movement to help release any tightness and tension and get a nice alignment in the saddle. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Again, you can repeat that. It's so simple. You can repeat that as many times as you like, really helping to warm you up. Ooh, sorry, mosquito. <laughs> and then, um, so please do check out in the comments and information section below about my website, Great Horse Yoga, and classes that I teach. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the mat. Thanks. Bye-bye.